When my dad passed away, um, I was 19. He was diagnosed with stage four stomach cancer in the duodenum. So I was 25 and he had brain cancer. And when he passed away, he actually opened his eyes, sat up and smiled before he closed his eyes and went and was gone. So yeah, he just uh, was called away, you know. You hear about things happening like that, but you don't think it's gonna be your family. My dad was very honest and very true to himself. He had a built-in BS meter. He could he could hone in on it, and then he would, you know, he would tell you, you know, you need to fix that, and I'm gonna help you, and I love you, and I'll pray for you. My dad was such a strong man, and was such a in every way. I mean, he was huge physically. He was very strong. And personally, he was so strong in his convictions, in his faith, in his, he had strong love and passion. It was pretty obvious that he was a Christian. The message was from him was always the same, you know, Jesus loves you and you're not too far gone and God's bigger than this. Through him, I, I just saw this guy that loved Jesus, you know. A picture that I still have in my head that's clear as day from even when I was seven years old. My room was upstairs and you'd go down the stairs and there's a living room and a kitchen. And right there in the front window, pool of light, you know, morning sun, there's my dad sitting in his chair. Just time for him and the Lord. Starting off the day just by him, between him and Jesus. You would either have the newspaper or you'd have his Bible or you'd have both and he would have a journal right next to him and he'd be reading, you know, and journaling and every morning he would be doing that and then every night when we were growing up, when we were little, he, both him and my mom would come in and they would pray with us every night. That's a special thing for me to think back on. That's something that I want to do for my kids that meant a lot to me. The importance of leaning into Jesus and, and having your relationship with Jesus is huge because you can't do it on your own. When I was growing up, I wasn't necessarily listening to everything that he was saying all the time, but I was watching what he was doing. And I, I could see who he was by what he did. Your kids hear what, what you say. They, they watch you. They are listening and hearing and picking up so much more than I think parents are really aware of. I think the way that I'm going to parent based off of how I saw my dad do it, is I'm not going to be afraid to tell my kids that I messed up. If I mess up, tell them I'm sorry. Remembering back to conversations we had in the last month of his life and him looking at us and saying, you guys are gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. He had a conversation with us and he's like, you guys know that, that it's gonna be fine. I'm not gonna be here and, but you guys are gonna be okay, and I'm okay with it, and I know that your mom's gonna be fine, and everything's gonna, you know, <laughs> yeah. I asked him, like, are you, do you think you're gonna, you think you're gonna go? You think you're gonna die? And he told me, he's like, I don't think God's gonna take me yet because I'm not done. That statement that he said, like he's not done yet, God still used him in his death to help bring back my brothers to Jesus. God doesn't change, uh, but he has the power to change us, so, and that's kind of what my dad was trying to tell me, you know? If you just submit to God, then it'll be, you know, he's bigger than this. With Jesus, anything is possible, but it takes my mom and my dad to model that it can it can work but you have to be willing and nothing is too broken and nothing is too hard for God to do nothing is too big but anything is possible it's true and yeah the people say you can be anything you want to be but 
you truly can be anything God wants you to be, which is even better. 